welcome back everybody. It's Jamie from Heavenly Dreams Dairy Goats. And I'm not sure if I've actually said this in a couple past videos or not, but we are actually giving this whole section to the donkeys and the goats. Because my goal is to raise, you know, French alpines. And I think what we're going to end up doing is actually giving the girls all the way over to where the boys' pen was to end. And then where the donkey pen was is actually where the boys are going to end up at. And where the horses were supposed to go is actually where um, the donkeys will be. So um, I'm going to end up showing you guys where we're, we're going to end up putting horses at too. Just so you could see. We got about 20 trees in here in this section right through here that still got to come down. Some of these trees, like this one right here, we're actually cutting down. There's a few up there too that are the right size for our corner posts that we're going to be doing. So, this sassafras right here that's got to get cut down. I think that tree is actually okay in line but all these poplars in here oh, they all got to come down I had an Amazon it wasn't an Amazon truck but an Amazon package got dropped off at our house and uh, it's actually for our neighbors okay so since we're back over here this area where we originally were going to have the horse pin at is still going to be here. This up here, my husband said he wasn't sure what he's going to do with. But I suggested that um, since he was going to take down those two trees, but then he decided we'll just take this one down too because this is what I suggested. And boys, I swear. Um, he's going to kind of take this down to the driveway push some off this way but this area right through here which I will climb up here and show you guys I told my husband that I think this is where we should put our horse barn right here I don't know how wide this is but I told him we need a minimum of a 40 foot one but 60 feet would be better by a hundred probably no shorter than 80 but I would like a hundred so I don't know what that's gonna cost us but first off I wanted to be able to add 20 feet to the back of that add an addition to the to the lean-to on the goats give them an additional five feet give myself 15 feet that's closed on the outside and the back but open to the inside and I want to make kidding pins there and then for the addition of the 20 feet that way I want a, a lean-to on this side that's enclosed in the back and sides but open only on the front that's where we can store hay and that's my thing that I would like to do but also trying to get a barn put up here. I don't know how we're going to do it. But God willing, we will. I want to have a garden shed down there. We want a decent sized chicken coop. So they can be put up at night. So we don't have any um, fatalities, I want to say. So my husband's plan is to, from here somewhere, um, to have a funnel that runs up this way. But we want to kind of keep the road that we've got here. Um, if we have to, we could move it to the other, you know, over a little bit. That's fine. But ideally, there's going to be a um, funnel. And he's not sure how big he wants to make it, but big enough for, you know, horses to be able to get down through it and everything from there. So, um, it's going to come around like this. Of course, that tree's got to come down. This leaner right there is coming down. There's a few trees back here that's got to come down anyways. But in due time. <laughs> um, I told him that I wanted to actually put some type of fence back here that comes from the side of the house over. Then runs down along the side where my or orchard orchard is but won't be but in there and then back around 
to about where the quail are over there. I don't know if you guys can see them over there. Back up and around and come up the hill to the side of the house right there with a gate. That way Max will have somewhere to run way more than what he's got. And then when Brutus goes out, he can stay out. Meanwhile, doing what he needs to do. So, like I said, a funnel will come through here. Come up like this way, some somewhere around there. And since... I'm not sure how far this way we're going to go with the horse pasture. But it'll be some, time, some way this way. Back to about 15 feet from the property line. There's some deer print. And, um... We're not sure how far back this way we're going to take it, but it's going to be this main area back here. Man, there's tree limbs everywhere. I thought we just picked this up the other day. And, uh, because it's pretty much done. We just have a few trees and a mess, obviously, from the tops from where the um, tree company came in and logged some of these trees out. But, basically, they're going to have where this kind of opens up and goes that way. Because you can see there's a lot of no trees. It's going to go back, back around and come back up this way. Back up here, somewhere. I don't know how far away that my, my husband's planning to go. But then come back. So, this should give the horses about five acres about roughly which is way bigger than what they what we were planning to give them with just that section that we were planning but then the donkeys get a bigger pin the goats get a bigger pin everybody gets a bigger pin the goal is so everybody can graze during the summer spring and summer months fall and then in winter is the only time we're going to feed hay we're hoping that that's what happens. Now, trying to get everybody moved so we can clean up areas and then get areas seeded and then have to rotate everybody again to, you know, then seed that area that they were in. It's just, it's, it's a little bit, it's going to take a little bit of time. Like my husband said, he just, he's not even sure that the horses will have pasture this year. They will be down in this area, though, for sure. But, like, you know, we don't know how much the fencing is going to cost us. I mean, we got we roughly know what it's going to cost, but we don't know how many feet we need. So, we're, we're just trying to get that cleaned up there so we can figure out what feet of fence we need to put up there. Um... And, and then just go from there, you know. And that, that's our plan. So, hopefully you guys understand what we're trying to do here. It takes time. When you <coughs> buy a small farm, homestead, whatever you want to call it. And you have to start from scratch. We will be here three years in June. That's when we moved here. In 2020 and this is as far as we've gotten three years we actually got to put up a barn for the goats not the size I wanted but it's a good start off for what we have um, we've added quite a few horses and I don't plan on adding any more I kind of so like my husband said there ain't nothing we can do about it now they're here but we should have just kept Diamond and only gotten Hercules and, and been done with it. I'm not saying that everybody else is delete from here, but they're here now. So we have to take care of them now. My shareholder came today, signed paperwork, got her two gallons, was very happy. So we will... Doing that, I've got our jars there that I need to take inside. But I want to sit down a minute. My back's starting to hurt. 
and just sit here for a little bit. Uh, my husband is on his way home. I've got hay out to all the horses. I just didn't feed because I don't like being bombarded like they do when um, uh, you have to feed them. I'll put our jars down here. Grab them. I'm not drop them, but break them. Oh, I can sit back. Oh, that feels better. I had Diamond just stare at me. What do you want, girl? Huh? Huh, Diamond? What do you want? You got Patsy over there standing up on the, the thingamajiggy. Lillo talking. So we just got one more dough to go, and that's old Odessa. I know it's almost time. Almost. <laughs> yeah, closer up picture of everybody. Or video, I should say. Everybody's just watching. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. We are getting closer and closer to 2K. We're like at a 1,082, I think. 1,802, I think so, we're at. So we're getting close. Like 197 or something still to go. 197 subscribers. So we will see everybody tomorrow. Till next time. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.